Welcome back to Jimmy's and Sooks. This is Brad. We're on the St. Lucie River again. Um, this time we went on a two day soak. Typically I try and run it between one and two, but I found that those four days did pretty well. So uh, we'll go two. See how we did this time. Uh, baited with all chicken. Um, most of it was fresh. Again, always typically targeting the eight to 12 foot range. I just kind of feel like that's our sweet spot in this river particularly. And then also on the left hand side. So what I mean by that is as I'm going up the river, so on the north fork as I'm going north, I like the left hand side. Um, it's not the same for the south fork. I like the right hand side going down south. Um, I don't know, maybe it means something, maybe it doesn't, but uh, that's the way I do it. So. We have five traps out today. Um, let's see how we do. Welcome back to Jimmy's and Sooks. Okay. Here we come on another one. This is kind of in a new spot. Got pretty good water depth. Hopefully it's going to produce a little something. So y'all may wonder why, why does he always say, look at these jimmies? What's a jimmy? Well, I'll tell you what a jimmy is. A jimmy is a male crab, and a sook is a female crab. I'll show you the difference. Well, not as good as I was hoping, but not bad. So I make these traps as well, full-size traps commercial, great quality Riverdale wire, um, awesome traps. If you're ever looking for them, you can always email jimmiesandsooks at gmail.com. Ask me some questions and we'll get you some answers. But anyway, I make these. Um, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Five pots here. So, or I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six crabs. Six crabs there. And I guess I'm just going to take this back with me because I got a lot of competition. Somebody posted up five or six traps right in this little area. Um, so, yeah, we're getting out of here. All right, six. Two days. All right, again, jimmies and sooks. Easiest way to tell, look at the underside. Check out the undercarriage. This one is a fully developed female, and that's what they call a sook. It's got kind of like, uh, you know, a circular shape to it, whereas this is the male, and it has a little bit more of a, kind of like a pencil shape to it. Like the Washington Monument and the Capitol Building. Um, so yeah, also, Females tend to have the red claws. Um, I have seen male crabs with the red claws as well, but typically they don't have them. Just nice, bright blue, pretty crabs. But anyway, here's your difference, jimmies and sooks. When I say, man, look at that big jimmy, that means I got a big male crab. And what we do with these, toss them back, let them reproduce. All right. typically done well but it has not done well lately. This one I think it always sits around I don't know 10 to 12 feet or so in depth. structure I feel like that might help gives the crabs a little you know something to hang out at a little place to post up at well also 
Showing them where the food is. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. There's a couple big jimmies there. Alright. Look at that. Look at that guy. Anyway, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on this. Again, baited up with the chicken. This one probably sits around eight feet deep. In my opinion, it's on the wrong side of the river. I like to set everything on the left-hand side as you're going up uh, on this particular fork of this particular river. But uh, this is on the wrong side, in my opinion, but hey, it worked out this time, so uh, maybe there isn't a side. Maybe it's all in my head. But anyway, yeah, not bad. Good pull. All right. Grabbing my trap and I'm gonna take off. I got one, two, three, four, five back there. So I just got a lot of competition in this area, but I'm gonna take this somewhere else. But let's see what we got on this. Hopefully, all the people posted up in this one spot. Didn't catch all the crabs, you know. Leave me a little. Leave me a little something, something. Not too bad. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, we're in the land of sevens and sixes and stuff, so not bad though. I'll take that. I love that land. Alright. This stuff out here. Fresh stuff here. Somewhere else. Get it out of here. Imagine if we hadn't had 15 traps posted up in this one spot. Ah, this one does pretty well. I wonder how deep it is. I'd say at least 8 to 10 feet. That's a good crab pot there. Yeah, buddy. Alright, what we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven. Yeah, not bad. We're living in the land at six to seven.